very limits of the U.S. Constitution, telling our Walter Isaacson that it is ultimately up to the American people to uphold American values. Hear that, we the people? You wrote recently that this Constitution of ours can pass a stress test. He said it was is going to be able to make it. Are you starting to worry? It's definitely the moment in the stress test, and I think that stress test began the night that Donald Trump was elected, where you think to yourself, how's the patient doing right around now? You know, do we need to call on the EMTs? And the reason for that is that so far, the formal constitutional protections have done pretty well. You know, when the president has taken action that clearly violates the Constitution, the lower courts have mostly said so, the president's had to retrench a little bit. The informal norms that are also an important part of our constitutional tradition but aren't written down in the constitution have not done well at all give me an example a good example would be the norm that prosecution and investigation by the department of justice and the fbi should be nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. it took us a long time to get to that norm we didn't always have that in american history and after nixon we really had to rehabilitate doj and the fbi but we did now i don't think almost anybody believes that the prosecutions that DOJ is doing or the investigations they're involved in are free of partisan influence. Donald Trump self-consciously set out to break that norm, and he broke it. So this call to the Ukraine, in which he's uh, trying to do things for his political benefit that involve an investigation, is that a violation of the Constitution? Yes. Uh, to me, the abuse of power is the thing that the Constitution says that the president should be impeached for. And you define abuse of power by the idea that the president's doing something that's within his constitutional authority, it's within his power, like putting pressure on a foreign government. But he's doing it not to serve the interests of the United States, but to serve his personal interest and the interest of getting reelected. And that's, to my mind, very clearly what's going on in the call, regardless of whether you think there's a quid pro quo or not. To me, that's almost a sideshow. What matters is that the president is overtly saying to Ukraine, do these investigations, and the only party who can benefit from those investigations is Donald Trump. So